Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. It's another acrylic pour and I've already painted the entire canvas white. So I'm going to try new stuff here. So I've got different colors, they're pastels. I've got my white, I've got some purple and yellow. And I make all my colors, this one's pink and blue. And uh, I make all my colors with um, just the primary colors. I've seen somebody put their uh, pour through a colander. So I went to the Dollar Tree, purchased a colander, and put it right on there. And now I'm just going to add some ink on here, just starting with the white. And this is pretty thin. Again, you guys, I'm still learning, and I'm showing you my mistakes and my wins and... <laughs> Uh, I'm just having so much fun. So I'm just going to alternate these colors. And this is some pink. It has a lot of red in it. Like I said, I make my own colors. But I think it's a lot of fun. I've been having some fun here. And I've made the colors really thin, um, which I don't think is what you're supposed to do because it's running really quickly out of here. So... Just again, we're alternating colors, putting some more white, and I'm trying to put like some white against the, the darker blue, and just not worrying about how much of each color, but you can definitely, or at least I could see, um, you know, some of that paint is running out and through. So I went to Home Depot to get some of the Floetrol, because that's what everybody was saying to use, and they were sold out. So I had to make this mix again with some uh, glue and water and I used a little bit of um, like uh, dish detergent. So I'm just trying guys, we'll see what happens here. So I'm just adding and adding and I do have a second canvas that I'm going to use any extra colors on. So if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, just click that subscribe button and click the bell, and I'll put up that video as well. I do all of my successes and I do all of my fails because I want you guys to learn what not to do as well as what to do. So just again, rotating these colors, adding, I could see that it's coming off the sides. So I think we're going to be pretty close to done here. Oh, let's see. Just adding some colors that I think would look really pretty uh, next to each other. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more white here because off to one side, it's falling off to one side. So I guess making it level would be something we'd want to do. <laughs> so I have a plate and I'm just going to stick it right under there and this does not look anything like what I've seen on other people's channels and look how fast that flows off and that that's flowing off right now off the corner is a bunch of bubbles tons of bubbles so I know some of you beauties al already do this and you had told me just to go from side to side so it doesn't get really um, muddied up. So I don't mind the colors mixing together. I guess it's to um, each one its own. So um, right now I'm just throwing the torch on there because there were some air bubbles. And this really gets rid of those air bubbles. I, I love that little tip as well. So I'm not loving it, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some of this blue since I have all the extra paint. And I'm going to just try some uh, kind of swiping it down the middle. And another swipe here. And then again on this corner to get some of that blue. And let's see, I think I'm going to add some more little stripes here. So we've got this um, violet color. 
and we'll just put a couple stroke uh, strikes there. And I'm going to go for some yellow as well. So just I'm starting off of the side and going all the way across. So you'll see off the side and all the way across. And I purposely am going over that purple area. Now I'm going to go through the blue. And it's just really cool. So I'm now going to add a little bit of pink right there. And maybe a little more again. It just didn't come as dark as I wanted it to. And then we'll add another line right here across the blue as well. So I think I like that. I left some of the other stuff there. Um, add a little more yellow. And then now we have a top heavy of yellow. So I look, I really like this um I don't know, is it a violet color? I don't know. I mixed blue and red together. So there we go. I got rid of some of that yellow with the the violet. We're going to add a little bit more pink here, and I'm just adding um, what I like. So I tried to do that little colander, but I, again, I think my ink was just too um, runny, and it all kind of ran together. So I'm just going to pull this off to the side, let it, um, I want it to have some of the, the fuzziness, I don't know what, the artistic word would be and now I'm just going around and if there's any white canvas showing I'm just picking up some of the ink that fell on the bottom and turning this around so that I could see all of the sides and now you guys can see what I see when I was pouring so just picking up and you could see I didn't wear any gloves. I said, this this is too much fun. I'm just going to get good and messy. <laughs> so I, I'm now swiping across because I dropped a little drip, that I, and I wanted it to be striped. I didn't want a dot right there. So And there's a lot of, of paint now. So I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. And now that I covered up that yellow, <laughs> I want the brighter yellow again. And now I'm going to put it on this side so it's not so uh, top heavy there. And what am I missing? Now I'm just looking to see what I'm missing. I'm going to move it just a little bit. You guys, this is really fun. Really, really fun. And it's so addicting. And I still have paint in my other cup, so I'm going to do another um, pour. And we're going to try just another technique. Again, it'll be a, a little runny paint, but I'm just having fun. So we're going to put a little bit more pink on here. That pink, ugh, I was having a hard time making the pink that I wanted. It kept coming up, and it still does kind of look like Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> but I am just, I, I guess as long as we're having fun, right? And that's what I'm trying to do. We're having a good time. I hope you guys like this. I know a lot of you have so much. I didn't know that you guys, uh, a lot of you were into doing this. I just learned about it recently. And all of you beauties who have given me such great tips, I am paying attention. So I'm just going to put a little bit of fire here over the canvas, get rid of some more of those air bubbles. I'm not trying to get any cells or anything like that. I didn't put anything in it to get cells. So now here's my dirty hands. All right, beauties, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, at least for trying.